I'm printing a wave square head. Just starting number five. The heads look like this, and they attach to the shaft like this. And I'm making an addition of 12 of these little wave squares. And while I was getting ready to print another one, I remembered a friend of mine wanted to see how 3D printing, uh, how 3D printing works. He's an architect. So all things T squares, wave squares, C squares, they're uh, right down his alley. And then I remembered thinking about it, that there's a video about a wavy square, which is buried at Bush School here in Seattle. And over the years, it moved around. You could see it from, satellite, uh, from the satellite on Google Earth. I used to have fun uh, chasing it around on the satellite. And uh, today, I thought I would go look at that again. It took me a long time to find it, but I found it. I'll show you what that looks like. In the 1970s, long before Google, uh, I was a part of a team that built the wavy square and it was buried at the campus of Helen Bush School. And when the year 2000 rolled around and I could go on Google Earth, I enjoyed going and looking at it from a satellite on the street. And then I was told recently that it disappeared. So I decided to go and have a look. Where is it? This is where my sculpture was that Dennis Evans and Bill Bader made back around, I don't know, 1980 something. And I was told by a friend that it was gone. So I came over here to find it. But a construction worker told me that uh, it's just down the hill. So I'm gonna go there, check it out. We found it. There's the head and the pieces are scattered all down here. And there's the tail. Anyway, this is what I look like. Yeah, this is Bill Bader. Bill Bader was one of the two teachers who shepherded about four or five students into making the sculpture. And <laughs> Bill happens to be here today at Bush School. Yeah. And he's asking me where I would like to see it put. And I'm saying, I want to put it right there because you can see it from the satellite. And if oh, it were over there, it would, would be under the tree. the tree. So let's put it over there so we can always give people the coordinates and they can look at it from the sky. That's good. Not cool? That's good. Yeah. Another thing that's going on when I'm printing these wave square heads is I'm changing filaments. I'm using the last of my color filaments and uh, switching over to black in this case. And what you're watching now is the end of the color filament feeding into the little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a pump, a little motor, this little wheel, this little gear is turning around and around and it's pushing, it's pushing the filament up into a tube and the tube goes to a hot pot. You saw at the beginning of the video that white thing and the filament is melted there and pushed out a nozzle and the nozzle of course is drawing the print line by line, layer by layer. 
And the trick is to detach the filament from the spool. And catch it here before this end gets up into the mechanism because if it gets up to the gears, it can't push it anymore. So you have to put the printer in pause before you get to that point. Otherwise, it's quite tricky to try to fish that little end out. So now it's in pause, the gear stopped going and I can proceed with my change. I release the tension on the gear, pull out the remaining filament, and replace it with the black, my next color. Meanwhile, it's in pause, and that means the hot spot is slowly cooling down, so I have to try to work within that time frame. Feed the new filament in, release the tension, feed it all the way until I can feel it hits bottom in the hot pot where it's melted, and then I press continue and it'll be some time before it's ready. One of the reasons I like multimedia arts is because there's all this time involved. In fact we call them time-based arts and it means sometimes you're sitting around waiting for things to happen. It gives you time to think about things. And some people think, oh, you think too much. I disagree. Well, I hope you like this little uh, demonstration. Printing a wave square head and the whole bodies. Thanks for watching.